King Zog the First Boulevard, which I think counts as a return to prominence for a monarch who was deposed by Mussolini in 1939. Who is this? Zogo. Zogo. Parkthea. Zogo Kabokit Boulevard. Hey, Burya, was Zogu good or bad? Zogu by me is in Verosa. And very, the Kabuki is Boulevard, the Kabuki is Verosa. The Kabuki is Zogu. Did he like Zogu or not? Yes, he liked it. Okay. Great. And Verosa, Kabuki is the Burya. Communist leader Hodja is not a popular figure. Zog's grandson, Leka Anwa Zog Reza Badwin Masizwe Zogu, hopes to win more hearts. He lives in central Tirana, just behind a retail development. I can't quite believe I'm about to meet the grandson of King Zog. Crown Prince Leka hopes that one day Albania's monarchy might return and know someone with the right qualities, himself. Your Royal Highness. It's wonderful. Thank you so much for having us here. I'm very pleased to be here. I want to check I've got the title right. Uh, indeed, uh, the title's right, but amongst friends, just call me Lekker. Oh, and I'm, and I'm now a friend. Indeed. <laughs> Even in a painting, King Zog dominates the room, a maverick with a taste for a fight. He survived 55 attempts on his life, the only known monarch to return fire when ambushed. His descendant isn't exactly a commoner, but he isn't exactly a king either. He lives in a post-Soviet limbo, hoping to transition someday. 50 years of, of communist propaganda has had an impact on uh, the Albanian society. Living in a country which um, lost the monarchy and uh, meeting daily people, with people who uh, miss their trust and uh, often believe that the monarchy is the only reference of stability. By far, the most stable, the most consistent, the most democratic countries in the world are monarchies. If it's Japan, if it's the Northern uh, European countries, uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, uh, the fact that uh, the monarchy is able to endure even the most difficult internal political circumstances is a sign of great stability. I'm not sure Germany and France would agree with you. I'm not sure if Germany and France are that stable either. What would change in the country? What, what would it mean for this relatively new democracy, for this republic, to suddenly have a king? We have to understand that, in essence, our ex own existence is a political statement. And at the same time, we do not want nor allow ourselves to be involved in the internal politics of a country. Because we do not want to discourage uh, the support base that we do have. Albania has a very, very strong monarchist uh, viewpoint. There's a lot of support. We are a voice of um, proactiveness. Unlike other ruling royal families, we do make statements on policies, and we do make statements through social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and we have to be very careful. I respect the role of the president. I myself have worked within the Albanian presidency as a, an advisor to the institution, to the president himself, and this has allowed me to gain a tremendous amount of, ex of experience of knowing what the expectations from the Albanian government are towards the family whilst also trying to mitigate and manage those expectations with the desire of a lot of royalists, a lot of people uh, seeking change and wanting a very active royal family. And thank goodness, uh, Albanian, uh, the royal family does have a constitutional code and we do believe in constitutional democracy. Thinking about your daughter, uh, Geraldine, do you think, could you imagine when she comes of age in 16, 17 years' time, that we might live in a world where there are more monarchies? She will be a custodian of the crown. And in this sense, um, there will be a number of royal families uh, in Europe which will have uh, queens as heads of state. The most important foundation is that uh, she cultivates a love and desire to serve a people. 
Tirana is a city on the up. The smell of new concrete and fresh paint is strong in the center. But away from the hubbub, there are relics of the royal past.